uh, hi everyone and welcome back so now we have all the lambda created like uh, we have get fetch fetch all right fetch will return all the records from dynamo get a particular based on the id create and delete right now from this particular diagram we have done the integration of lambda with the dynamo now we just need to integrate it with the api gateway so few of them are already done like get so it is in integration request if we go then it is bookstore fetch so it should be bookstore get uh, let's keep oh yeah bookstore fetch because we are fetching all the records it's a bookstore create okay this is also fine then id so here we have a get we can also another add another method which is uh, delete delete by id right so now we need to pass the ids and here we can pass bookstore delete and this is now we have done the integration of all the lambdas with the api gateway endpoints okay now we also need to define the request body templates and we are going to use our standard body template so that we can get all the things body uh, request parameter query parameter standard templates we are going to use this is about get so for get we don't need a mapping for post if we go to integration request uh, mapping template there is already so we will just replace it with this now we will get a detailed body headers methods parameters query whatever you need you will get it from here we just need to update all our integration points so that we can get what we need here also make it application json when there is no template so here we just paste it and save it and similarly we can do the same for get i think we already have the request for the template for this yes because we have done this in the last demo okay now whenever we need to get the data either coming from the request body request parameters so here you can see get post delete and get by id okay now this is the lambda bookstore fetch we don't need to extract anything in this lambda like bookstore fetch it should return us all the records so we'll go one by one lambda so it's just we need a table name so table name if you want to store you can store that in the environment variables dynamodb.scale and we are getting data so no changes required on this we are good post here we need to get the data from request body and body we are going to get from this body template so we are going to get uh, event dot body right so if we go to this lambda so event dot body should contain uh, the body and rest you can actually create a uuid uh, to create a unique id like event dot body so event dot body and then id we are generating at runtime okay so this should be fine Similarly, if we take a look on to get and go to the lambda, similarly for delete, go to the lambda. And here we will what we need is from event dot body. Similarly, we will get the data in the event dot parents. ID event dot Event dot params id and same thing we can do or delete event dot params dot id okay let's deploy the changes and we can give it a try so here in the id first of all let's try to create something by passing in the payload
so we are sending only this much of payload and uh, let's test, test it so it should hit the bookstore create and it has created the bookstore thing one thing two okay all are successful now if we try to do the get operation that's it here we should set, should get all the items in the body this is what we are getting and this is what expected right all the records whatever we have created now we can see them if you want to get the particular id then you have to pass this id get my id and we can pass this and test it cannot read property i of undefined let's see this lambda bookstore get cannot read property i of undefined okay we haven't deployed this looks like event dot params oh sorry i think yeah event dot params id because id is something which we are sending from here cannot read property id of undefined so it's talking about event dot params so if we go to the request body template and try to see what we are getting in the event dot params so here let's debug this what can be the error we are logging out event okay so we are talking about bookstore get let's hit this bookstore get we can go to the cloud formation i mean cloud watch and try to see what we are getting in the event so that will give us the the clear picture what is happening Okay. So here keep doing the try. Okay, let's see bookstore get. This is bookstore get. So here we are we are talking about this integration request, mapping template, application JSON. Oh this was empty. Maybe this can be the issue. And save it. Let me reload this and check that again. Okay, now let's test it again. Oh, we got the data. So that was just about uh, the template was not saved. And now if we try to do the delete, I hope we should not see that kind of error now. Request for the template. This is saved. So we can test it by doing delete passing the path parameter and test and it is done okay so that's all guys uh, thanks everyone